Ooh, what day is today? Wednesday. Today I have to teach my, my students. I have to teach social studies to the first graders. What do I do? Give me a second. Energize. Whoa, I'm here. Are you ready to start? Let me get changed. All right, yes, this is better. So let's start with the class. Today, we're going to recheck about before, now and after. And we will learn a little bit more about this. All right, so before, now and after, Part two. Okay. Let's remember a little bit about this. The calendar routine. Before, now and after. Antes, ahora y después. And then it's pretty similar to yesterday, today and tomorrow. Alright? So, the same. Get out of here. And Let's take a look at this. Well, do you know this? Do you know these toys? This is Woody and Buzz Lightyear. Yes, do you remember? Do you know the movie? The movie is called Toy Story. And this one here is Toy Story 2. So, I have a question for you. What movie comes before Toy Story 2, before, antes, do you know? Toy Story 1, this one, or just Toy Story. So what movie comes after Toy Story 2? So this one is before, which one is after Toy Story 2? Toy Story 3, so before and after. Antes y después. Easy, right? So, let's take a look at a different example. We have here a video that I want you to watch. This one. What is it? It's just colors? No, let's take a look at it. Let me just grab this and make it bigger that way. Yes. Are you ready? Let's watch this and play. It's Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's a problem-free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Wow. Nice, right? Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. All right, so after watching that, let's take a look at this one. So let's watch this now. Let's imagine this is now. Simba is a teenager, right? It's, he's got like 17 years old. And that one there is Simba before, when he was a kid, like you, a kid. And after, Simba is a big lion, a grown-up, right? An adult. So Simba here was a teenager. This one is before, like you, a kid. And this one is after Simba as a grown-up. Easy, right? Do you understand? I hope you do. So, now we're going to watch a video. This is video number one. 
is called the alpha blocks, the ABC. So pause the video here and once you're ready, you can play this again. All right, did you watch it? It was all these guys, these little blocks from here, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, etc. The A, B, C. And let's take a look at this. This is B. What comes after B? After B comes C. So what comes before B? Letter A. So A, B, C. Easy. We can take examples from everything and everywhere. All right, so now let's take a look at this. This is a picture that I need you to look at. It says Thursday, April 13th. And there are a lot of pictures there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's read these questions. I'm going to read them and then I want you to answer them. And then we will answer them together. It says, what did Manuel do before eating lunch, before eating lunch. What did he do after eating dinner, after? And what day will it be when Manuel wakes up again, in the future? Can you answer these questions? Pause the video here, answer these questions, and once you're ready, you play this again. All right, so I'm pretty sure you did it well. So let's see. what did Manuel do before eating lunch? Before, antes. Hmm, before eating lunch. He had lunch in picture number three. So before he went to school, right? So he went to school and then he ate lunch. What did he do after eating dinner? Hmm, eating dinner, picture number five. What did he do after he's going to bed? So after eating dinner, he went to bed. And what day will it be when Manuel wakes up again? So if we look at that, it says Thursday, April 13th. Thursday. What day comes after Thursday? After Thursday? Friday. So... When he wakes up again, it'll be Friday. Easy, right? Good. Now, let's continue. This is activity number one. Worksheet number one. Remember the booklet, always. All right, it says, complete the sequences with the information that is needed. Number one, the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, Numbers, two, three, four, five, six. And days of the week, uh -uh. Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so complete. Pause the video here, and once you're ready, you play this again. All right, let's see what you've got. I'm pretty sure you did it right. Let's see. The alphabet, after E, after E. A, B, C, D, E, F, letter F, good. Numbers, before two, right here, before two, before two, one, two, three, four, one, good. And days of the week, hmm, before Saturday, before Saturday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Before Saturday. Friday. Huh. Very good. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm, nice. That's good. Now, to continue, let's watch another video. Video number two. Growing up song. Take a look at it. Pause the video here. And once you're ready, you can play this again. All right. What a good video about growing up, the song. So, first, you're a baby, right? And then he was growing up and turned into a kid, like you. 
And then he's a teenager, like that kid. So, growing up, can you describe yourself? Take a look at this. This is a timeline, all right? First, we have the past, then the present, and then the future, all right? So before, antes, in the past, you were a baby, like this one. <laughs> a small baby, not too much hair, small hands, small feet, small body, small body, very small. Now, in the present, you are in first grade, and you are like this kid. You are bigger, you have more hair, and in the future, after, después, you will be a teenager, like that guy. Much bigger, taller. You go to a different class, maybe seventh grade, eighth, so, first, before a baby, then a kid like you, now, in first grade, and then a teenager in the future. That's good. So, after that, we are going to create a poster. How? It doesn't have to be something big, just a small thing. You have to look for a picture like this, but when you were a baby, a picture from you now, and you will have to imagine yourself in the future and draw yourself. Or maybe use your mom's cell phone and make yourself older. Let me show you what I did. So, the idea is to have a picture of you as a baby, have a picture of you now, and try to imagine yourself in the future, all right? This is what I did. This is me as a child, as you, now. This is me, okay? This is me as a child, and this is before, okay? That is me now, as an adult, all right? And that one over there, this is me in the future. So, past, present, and future. Before, now, and after. Easy, right? So try to look for a picture. But with you as a baby, it's now and maybe in the future. Alright? So, what did we do today? Today, we learned about time expressions that are before, now, and after related to life stages as a baby, as a kid, as a teenager, etc. Alright? So, I hope you had enjoyed this class and see you next time. Bye!